Welcome back to Global News Morning. I am your buddy Bill. A pleasure to be talking about uh, a project. I think it's the coolest music project that I can recall in years. Uh, the project is called Give Me a Break. It'll feature Kingston musicians. Please join me in welcoming uh, one of the people who pioneered this project. We have Michael George. He's a local musician. And one of the artists, I think the first to record for the compilation record, Mr. Tony Silvestri of the Tony Silvestri Band. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Very exciting news to pass on to uh, everyone in our viewing region. Michael, give me a break. Explain the concept here. Okay, well, basically, it's just a way to get musicians, like younger musicians, or not even necessarily younger, but at this point, um, people that kind of need a leg up in the industry. Like, you know, they're singer-songwriters, or they have bands, and they're performing out there, but this is a tough business. So we are going to give them, basically, a free video um, and free recording in good recording uh, studios um, that they can basically, you know, do anything they want with. They can market themselves and we're going to help them with the marketing as well. You mentioned studios. The first session uh, will be taking place at the bathhouse, the world-renowned hip-owned Oh, yeah. Bathhouse. And I actually recorded a record there. It's an amazing studio, amazing guys, like the, the board, it's a knee board and Everything is good. All the equipment is fantastic, and it's a really cool vibe in there. Like, it's just a great place. Uh, Michael, look to your left. No, the other left. Oh, the other left. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? Oh, Tony. <laughs> we'll find him down for something, but we haven't got a clue. Ain't afraid of what you're saying, only afraid of what you do. Tony, you are one of the first uh, musicians who have been asked to take part in this project. Uh, how do you? How does it make you feel? It's an incredible feeling to be asked by Michael and Dave to do something like this. It's been a long time since an opportunity has presented itself in this, in these crazy times. Mm. And not only that, but something that's as, you know, big and exciting as this. It it really gets you off your feet. And it makes you think about music again, because there hasn't been a lot of reason to think about music for a little while. Well, Michael, uh, he mentioned Dave. Of course, we're talking about Dave Reggett, um, really instrumental in getting uh, this project going. Um, what was his initial vision? And too bad he couldn't be here. Hey, Dave. <laughs> he's done things for years helping out local musicians. Like, he's really into it. He did the uh, Kingston, Ontario AOMC Music Conference. Uh, years ago, right? Um, and that was at the harbor, and th that was really great. We had like, I think, 50 people, like Fender and all of these different uh, companies came in. Um, and he's just always been on the cutting ed edge of trying to get things happening for musicians. And it's really tough in this industry. I mean, it really, really is. You know, for right now, it's tougher than ever. But when I was doing all this stuff when I was younger, and I still am, but I mean, like at the beginning, Nobody was ever saying, here, we'll record you for free. Oh, yeah, we'll do a video for free. Oh, let us take care of all of this. Oh, we'll bring in a mentor. It's like, really? Come on. And when I actually first uh, uh, called Tony about this, he was kind of a little bit, if you don't mind me saying, Tony, he was a little Absolutely bit, not. No, that's okay. Yeah, he was a little bit kind of down in the dumps and depressed about the whole thing, right? He says, well, I haven't played for a couple of years. And then when I started talking to him about this whole initiative, he was like, yeah, yeah, I love it. And then he's getting all excited it was fantastic yeah it's, it's definitely a really good reason to think about music and it definitely did get me excited very excited about doing it immediately well some of the i think most of the sessions are going to be taking place at the bathhouse um as far as the hip members are concerned rob baker might pop by well i actually talked to him about that and you know remember that this is a brand new thing right and it sounds almost too good to be true and Rob, everybody's always wants a piece of Rob, right? Yeah. Now, I've known Rob for a long time. He's a super nice guy, and he's always, always doing everything for the music community, just for people in general. So I said this to him. I said, look, you know, if you want to just drop in, he goes, well, you know, I'm really, really busy. My schedule is pretty full. But, you know, yeah, if I can, I will, right? So that was his way of just sort of like, okay, just in case this is like a really weird, bad thing that we do. Cause again, it, it sounds too good to be true. Right. But yeah. it really is as we say that it is, it's, it's just going to be something to help musicians. And it's got a membership. We're going to do like a membership card. We're going to try and get uh, people discounts from, you know, restaurants and hotels, music stores and all that for QR the band. 
um, the nonprofit uh, aspect of this whole thing, right? So this is going to be just an amazing thing for musicians. Well, Tony must feel special, but Michael, um, how on earth do you decide who is going to be on the first compilation record? And I say first because this is going to be a series. How difficult is that to pick from the aspiring musicians in our region? There's dozens it's very and dozens difficult. of them. Yeah, exactly. There's dozens of them. So, you know, we have, I've talked to several already that are confirmed, um, and they're not necessarily all from Kingston, Kingston, but, you know, the area, right? Uh, we have, do you want me to mention some names? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, who we got here? So Chloe Caroline. So she comes here every summer, lives in L.A. You, you know um, Lindsay Fellows? He's like a big shot music supervisor in Los Angeles. Anyways, his daughter, and she's fantastic. Uh, bon Evans, I know you know Bon, of yep. course. Uh, Isabel Nicole, who's got, a, she's from Ottawa, but I've done some work with her, and uh, she's got a, a video called Headphones. I think it's got like close to 200,000 views on it, which is good, you know, for a, an independent musician. Um, this guy, Tony Silvestri, he's really awesome. You'll love him. He's a super nice guy, too. He's got good <laughs> hair. <laughs> uh, Tom Savage, Alexa Goldie, Reckless and Bandit, Savannah, like, you know, various different uh, people. And like I say, there's tons and tons of options. Uh, all we really want is to make sure that uh, they have original music and that they're actually performing artists um, and that they're also fun and into it, you know. Well, my hats are off to you, Michael, and to uh, Dave Reggett and to all the musicians involved. What an awesome opportunity. Once again, Kingston really showing. Uh, I think we are uh, the music capital of Canada. Congratulations, guys. I'm looking forward to the end result. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you. Can I just throw in one more thing? We're going to get together with, like, these videos are going to the Kingston Canadian Film Festival, and the, the city of Kingston is getting involved in this as well, as well as the Kingston Arts Council. So we got all kinds of stuff that's going to be happening. It's going to be big and really fantastic. It's getting bigger and bigger and cooler and cooler. Listen, Bill, <laughs> thank you so much for your helping out with this thing. No, it's a big thing. It really makes all the difference in the world. And I know you're 100% behind this. I know you've always been 100% behind all the musicians in Kingston. So thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, there's some.